different fields actually come together and work together. So like STEM and non-STEM related education are in distinctly separate spheres. So when I'm pursuing my personal education, I can look at a more broader point of view and realize I don't have to focus solely on science, science or solely on some sort of other non-STEM activity, but I can kind of meld them together to form something that's personal to me. I learned about some of the newer, more advanced reactors that the NRC is reviewing, and I think that is important for me to also understand for what I want to do in my future. And furthermore, I learned about some of the processes that happen, like if you want to submit a new idea for a new reactor, there are, there are regulations that you have to pass, and there are numerous processes you have to go through. And it's not just, oh, I made a blueprint, and it's suddenly going to be built. It has to be approved first. Uh, yeah, so what surprised me the most was how transparent the NRC is, whether it be through press releases or historic documents online. Like we just learned about a database where they have like tons of documents that people can access. And I thought like the information would be a bit more classified because it deals with like nuclear power plants and all the development of like nuclear transport facilities and such. So I was surprised by how transparent everything is.